Okay. Ready? Mm-hmm. You got you remembered! Yeah! <laughs> Enthusiastic as I used to be. Do you want to do that? Yeah. <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> Let's not do it again. <laughs> so anyway, today we're doing the chocolate book tag. Mm -hmm. Um, we saw Joel Books do that, so uh, the link to that video will be in the description if we remember. If not, you can just search Joel Books and scroll down a little bit. And chocolate book tag. Um, so basically, what it is is there are different types of chocolate, and then many, lots of many, types many. Of and then you have to um, pick a book that um, represents Kinda that chocolate to you. Symbolizes that how that. you feel. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, first one is dark chocolate, which covers dark topics like death and all those that all that fun stuff. The Darkest Minds because, well, they're in like a concentration camp and then there are people chasing them who want to murder them. Yeah, well, that, was, was, that wasn't exactly the first book I thought of because obviously William made things so much better. <laughs> this is <laughs> too enthusiastically, but um, <clears throat> I'm very enthusiastic. Aggressively. <laughs> this is kind of an independent choice because Laura hasn't read this book, but it makes you remember 24 hour bookstore because it's like, it's, this is a standalone if you guys don't know by Robin Sloan, who I think is actually a booktuber. Weirdly really? enough. <laughs> yes. Um, so, um, Yes, and there, there's some serious stuff that goes on in here, but there's so much humor, and I loved it, and I would just read it over and over again for years. So the next book would be The Milk Chocolate, or is Milk Chocolate? Is it milk? <laughs> it is Milk Chocolate. <laughs> tell that? me more. <laughs> no, just tell this me more. This is why you do that Tell me far. more. Okay. <laughs> um, it's, um... It's something you're dying to read, and hype has let lots of hype. Early. So what did and we choose, Laura? What I picked was Fangirl, because I always wanted to read this, but you know, once I finish all my other books and get over my laziness, then yeah. Oh my god. Love you. Oh. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay. So the next one is a book with a caramel. Book with a caramel. <laughs> is chocolate with a caramel center. That makes you feel all gooey inside. And we both have one for this one. Let me see if I can reach it without. This is it. Congratulations. <laughs> Nobody cares. <laughs> this is the cover. <laughs> If you haven't heard of Fallen Our Stars, then where are what are you, you doing with Get you? out of your get rock. Out. Just get Go out. to the We're nearest Barnes and Noble and just... We're not even going to talk about this. Just go. Leave. Oh. <laughs> Gooey. Gooey. Wafer free Kit Kat. Uh, you can get like crunchy? No, it's a wafer free, like the kind without the cookie, just like solid Kit Kat chocolate. How do we skip that one? I'm wondering with Joel, like, do these exist? Like, is there a ma manufacturing error that makes these exist? Let's just do Kit Kat. Let's just say Kit Kat because wafer free is just too confusing. Choice. Rebel Bell by Rachel Hawkins, and I, I talked about this. Ooh, I by this time I'll post my review. But I read this um, for Book Explosion, and um, it, it surprised me a lot because like the cover makes it look like it's gonna be like some sort of girly contemporary. Well, I guess there's a knife, but <laughs> makes it manly. <laughs> <laughs> manly contemporary. I've never heard of that. Next book is Stickers, which is a book you're going absolutely nuts for. Absolutely not. Rebel. Be a rebel bell. Be a rebel bell and just go for the whole scene. <laughs> you need to do some more physical activity if that's like. <laughs> I, I was adding sound effects. Um. <laughs> the next one, the, uh, I picked the Mortal Instruments series. I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> 
mortal instruments. <laughs> I'm really loving it, and I just finished City of Glass not too long ago, and I plan on starting City of Fallen Angels soon. Maybe there will be a book review. Marber. Next one is hot chocolate with cream and marshmallows, and that's one that you can like snuggle up with and just read and just love and soak up into your soul. That was not all in the description. Mm -hmm. I made some Explain of that, that up. better. Eric, I'm proud of you. And the, the book that we've chosen is actually the books that started our YouTube journey because if you did, you didn't know, because you most certainly didn't know, we used to do, we used to have, I guess you could call it a booktube channel. All we about called it. Shut up! <laughs> It was all about Harry Potter and it was embarrassing and you'll never find it. It is easy. That's all of our chocolates. So you hold it. So this is all of our chocolate books. <laughs> I got this. You are weak. <laughs> You can't handle. I still have to. Oh. <laughs> Bye. I'm like Thor of Book World. Bye. I'm still poised. Oh, don't. Put my book down. Put my books down. <laughs> Bye.